Hello everyone, this is Lian Bing, and in this video I'm going to discuss about the rest of function here in Spring Max. So first is the wind, the force. In the force you will see two, uh, two buttons, one is called wind, one is explosion. So let's try the wind first. When you click the button, there will have a call in the things. That's the wind object, and the tip of the cone is the direction of the wind. It's easy to understand. And then when you click the cone, you will see some setting in the modified panel. So let's see the result first. I just want to use the wind to blow this bone chain. So before that, you see no movement at all for the bone chain. Now I have the wind, pick out the bond chain and I do the calculation. See, the bond chain start moving. Follow the wind. So meanwhile I can change the wind position and the direction. Move the wind object to the calculator again. From this angle, see more clear. The chain will follow the direction of the wind. And I can also change the value here with keyframe. So the max force and the mini force, so I measure the wind is a wave. So the max force defines the top of the wave and the mini force defines the lowest part of the wave. So here is a wave of wind. And the frequency is how fast the wave is. It's a fast wave or it's a small long wave. So here I change the wave a bit to say more let me stop the wind here. Ac active the wind at the beginning. And then stop it to set the, oh, everything at zero. And set another key. So stop for a while and blow again. With different value. And more jittery, which is higher frequency. Make it more vigorously. the result. Okay. Start blow, stop, and the blow jittery again. Follow the keyframe we set on the wind object. Okay, that's the wind. So next is the explosion. Let me remove all the keyframe here. So expression, the difference with wind is, wind is just one direction from left to right. Explosion, it will, the direction will come out from the explosion object to everywhere. So like, po like a point light, same idea. So let me remove this middle one. So here I put the explosion and uh, do the calculate. See, all the chain come out from the explosion object. So can can do more movement. Start here and move to left to up and back to the right. See. So let's see what will happen. Calculate. See. And uh, 
uh, setting the the extra setting the explosion object is the reverse, which is a uh, without normally it will push out with the reverse it will pull in towards the explosion object. So let's uh, remove the key, turn off the auto key, and with the re reverse on. The same movement of explosion object with reverse on what this looks like. So, see, they were trying to, uh, or the chain was pulled towards the explosion object. So, that's maybe you can do some interesting result with that. That's the force. And uh, oh, I forgot one thing is show the collision of the force. Let me back to the window object again. So, firstly, we see the result. Yeah, the keyframe is kind of annoying. So I just want a window object to place here. So you see the chain will blow by the wind. Now I ha if I have a collision object in the sinks, want a bigger one. here. So right now you will see the wind will make the chain get into the collision body but with the collision on I turn on the collision and do again. See the chain was blocked by the collision body. So even more I can move the collision body here I gonna not only move I also gonna change the shape make it bigger or something so I pull move the collision body forward and make it bigger so the collision body will go forward bigger let's see the result popping because it's uh, maybe it's kind of moving too fast so with that you will if you see the previous video you will think uh, start thinking about add a subframe you can say add a there five subframe do again you will see more keyframe happen with everyone. Okay. It's collided with everyone. And no one can be moved by the wind. So here is another another example of the wind. And uh, you can see there's a ball with lots of bone there. You can imagine that's a bird or animal. There's a lot of fur. No movement at all. So I can have, have a winged object. Move it out. And uh, towards it. Do the calculation with default setting.
out of box. Starting moving, follow the wind. Now if I move the change the setting, make it like more higher frequency, double it, and the moving the object. Go up. Okay, let's try again. Generate more fast and uh, follow the wind. From the top, we can see more detail. So that's it with the interesting setting. You can do the have the interesting result with the wind. Basically that's it. Oh yeah, there's another some button. So for the advanced, there's still some extra function working progress. I'm gonna t I'm gonna t publish later, but right now they have not fi they haven't been finalized yet. So I just leave space for them. And uh, for the bomb post, uh, let's change it back to the previous things. So for the bomb post, initial post is. Just do it and show you how the working. It's quite simple. So I have a simple movement back. So right, if I calculate with the loop, it's starting with stride, whatever the other pose. I change it a bit, whatever. So I change it a bit. So it's starting with this pose. But with the loop calculation, you will see it's changed because it's it's gonna to loop up with the result. So the start pose has been changed. But if you don't want this loop result, you wanna do the calculation again. You will see it's, you will find you cannot back to the starting pose. Oh, then the bottom. The function of the button is hit initial pose and it will bring you back to the pose before the calculating. So that's easy. And also the copy and the paste is uh, it's also very really simple, just copy this pose and uh, paste it here. This is usually used for match up the looping result the start and the end. Sometimes they are slightly offset so you can use these to match up them. And a stride is a stride to make the bond chain totally stride at all. So that's how those bu button works. There's another thing I forgot in previous video is uh, you cannot undo the result of the script for some reason. So I will recommend you save your file because before you do the calculation to avoid some thing got damaged. So that's pretty much everything I need to tell in this video and uh, enjoy. Thank you.